Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to be making a recipe that um, I had when I had gone to Lancaster, Pennsylvania a long time ago. And I had this for an appetizer and I thought it was amazing. The place that I went to was called Kitchen Kettle Village and they had a little recipe book that you could buy and I bought it. And I've been making this recipe ever since. It's amazing and I know that if I go to uh, cookouts or potlucks and I bring this, people are asking for the recipe. The name of it is Hot Italian Sausage and Clam Chowder. And I know that sounds like it doesn't go, but you wait, you've got to try it and you'll be amazed. So without further ado, Grab your paper and pencil and let's get cooking. All right, now this is gonna be tricky because um, we are getting ready to put our house on the market and all of my stuff that I really don't use every day is getting put in a storage unit. So I'm gonna be holding my phone with one hand and cooking with my right hand. All right, so let me turn this around and we're gonna start. Okay, I've got about a third of a cup of olive oil in the pan. And to this, I'm gonna add one medium onion, and I hate to leave stuff left behind. So there. And, I have six ounces of hot Italian sausage and two teaspoons of garlic. Now, I didn't have bulk sausage. I had the kind in the casing, so I just squeezed it out of the casing. And we're gonna get this browned up nice. All right, now this is almost all done. So to this I'm going to add a half a pound of sliced mushrooms. And my mushrooms that I got were huge. So I just cut them up into decent sized pieces. Now I'm going to cook this for about oh two or three minutes until my mushrooms begin to soften up a little bit. All right, I've got my um, burner turned down to medium, and now I'm going to add everything but the clams. So I have three of these jars of clam juice. They're eight ounce jars. Put that in. And the next thing is, um, I have these crushed tomatoes with basil. It's a 28 ounce can, but I also have a teaspoon of basil that I threw on the top. And that's gonna go in. Give that a mix. And I know I'm from New England, but I have to tell you, my favorite clam chowder is not New England clam chowder, even though New England clam chowder is very good. My favorite is Manhattan chowder that has the tomato base. So that's kind of like this. And there's no potatoes in here. So this is also low carb friendly. All right, everything is mixed in. And that is going to simmer for about half an hour. All right, that's been simmering now for 30 minutes. Now I'm just going to shut this off. And now I'm going to add two cans of minced clams. Now I always add the juice with it. So let's see what size that is. 6.5 ounces. All 
the reason why you don't add your clams until the very end is because they kind of get tough when they cook too much. All right, your soup is done. And I would show me eating it, but who would be holding the phone? I hope you try this recipe, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Continue to stay safe, and until next time, love you.